So James, we have these three great floral frogs that Bunny Williams designed for us here at Ballard Designs, but I don't really know what they are. Well, frogs are um, a fun name for a mechanical device for making flower arrangements. Mm -hmm. So just say floral frog 10 times real fast. But what Bunny did is she's so great about bringing everything together from the garden and into the home and even the flowers on the table. So she has reinvented a classic by using these frogs that are not only structural, but they're also kind of elegant too. You know, you have this variety, which you can use for so many different styles. You have the one, the frog shaped like a turtle, but then you've got this buster right here. And this is what you need to make something that's kind of tall and dramatic. It's really gonna give you great support for heavy stems and to make something that could be a great entry piece or statement piece for your next dinner party or entertaining soiree. Like that? Um, case in point. <laughs> so yeah, that's a good idea of something that's kind of tall and dramatic. Um, I would say this qualifies as tall and dramatic. <laughs> Look how perfect this fits in this cylinder. It's almost as if it was designed to go in I there. I know, isn't that amazing? Mm, nice. So, fill it up with water. And remember, I like to use lukewarm water when room temperature water is great for flowers, especially hydrangeas. All right, here's where we're gonna start, our foundation greenery. All right. Um, you said you had this growing in your yard, but I don't know if I believe you because I saw it in your neighbor's yard too. <laughs> but anyways, this is a combination of great use of great greenery for a wonderful foundation. Look how it's sitting there. Yeah. It's now it's kind of there. All so right. So now I see what this thing does. It's so holding the greenery. you put it in there and it stands right up. It's standing right up. So it kind of adjusted to its spot. So what I'm doing is I'm using this as the greenery. This is our foundation and our edging. And what this does is it gives us a wonderful block to build from. And so I'm stripping some of the bottom leaves off, mm -hmm. arranging it like this. And if this had no frog, this would have flopped all right, over. Right. What this does is it also makes you maximize the space. You don't have to have as many flowers, as many stems, because it's all arranged perfectly rather than cramming them all in together. All right, so I've got a good foundation here with the greenery in the frog. Next, I'm gonna add a couple of the tall elements to set our height. Okay. And from there, I'm gonna work from tall, medium, to short. Okay. So, okay. I'm going to add some delphinium. And with the height, where we're talking- that white stuff? This is this okay. white stuff. This is delphinium. All right. And it's a lovely plant that can be grown in so many gardens across the country, and it's readily available at the florist. All right, Karen, can you see me? Barely, <laughs> barely, but I can feel you. Okay, good. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna tell you. A little bit of garden and floral design magic happens when you use hydrangeas. I do love hydrangeas. I love hydrangeas too. They look so good in the Hamptons. They look great in a southern garden. They're beautiful anywhere in the country. So what I'm gonna do with this hydrangea is I'm gonna use this as kind of the medium level. Okay. We have our tall, mm -hmm. then we have our medium. Think about in choir. There's always the tall kids on the top risers. There was the right. medium kids on the medium and the short people up front. So. I'm going to use these as the medium folks, and I'm going to make a ring using the hydrangeas around this arrangement. Okay. So you're not putting it at the very edge, you're really kind of just really going it towards, a little bit in. Just okay. a little bit in, and then that, that frog is helping hold everything in place. We've got a great green and white composition here. I think it's time now for a little pop of color. All right, Miss Karen, if you don't mind, if you'll keep stripping some of the roses for me, sure. because we're going to add a little pop of color here. And I'm using kind of my three roses together trick, and I'm gonna tuck these into the arrangement, and you can either tuck them in three at a time, or you can tuck them in one at a time, but tucking these in adds that wonderful, wonderful pop of color. Isn't that just beautiful? Those are really And so pretty. look for, you know, that line and still magnolias where Sally Field looks at Daryl Hannah, mm -hmm. and she says, a nail, there's a hole. She's talking about her hair. So look for the holes of where you can plug in some roses. And by no means do we want a hole. In this case, we're gonna use these beautiful kind of call color roses to give us some color. All right, our last element of this is another dramatic element. We have the vertical element. So the next dramatic element is going to be more of a spilling motion. It's gonna be more of a downward motion. In that case, we're using amaranthus. It seems like if this were gonna be up on a pedestal or something, that would be so perfect, like cascading down. Wouldn't it? And cascade, that's a great term to use. So as I'm tucking this in there, this will cascade in. And remember, 
This lime green is really a great neutral because it looks good with so many different colors. I do love lime green. I do too. So lime green, but plaid, plaid may be my favorite color, <laughs> followed by leopard or cheetah. I don't know about you, but that's pretty, pretty nice. That's pretty nice.